and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted bacterial infection and the causative organism is the bacteria called Neisseria gonorrhea, which is a gram-negative diplococci, seen on gram stain. And this is a picture showing the Neisseria gonorrhea. So in acute gonorrhea, there is invasion of the bacteria to the glandular epithelium on the cervix and vitelline glands, and then the infection will ascend to the endometrium and the fallopian tubes, causing inflammation and also development of the abscess. This vitelline gland is the two pea-sized compound alveolar glands, which are located slightly posterior and to the left and right of the opening of the vagina. For clinical features, it is slightly different between males and females. So this is a sexually transmitted infection which can affect both genders. In acute gonorrhea, in males, they might present with purulent urethral discharge and also discomfort during urination. Whereas for female, they might be yellowish-green mucopurulent secretion from the cervix and they might also complain of tender swelling, which is swelling of the Bartholin's gland. For gonorrhea, the time out from exposure to the symptoms is usually between 2 and 14 days, where most of the symptoms will appear between 4 and 6 days after infection. That is for acute gonorrhea. Whereas for chronic gonorrhea, it can affect females, where there will be rupture of the abscess, causing pus in the fallopian tubes, further leading to pyosalpines or hydrosalpines, tubal ovarian abscess or pelvic abscess, and then later on it might cause blockage of the fallopian tubes and cause infertility in women. On physical examination, there will be a fixed uterus due to adhesion and on abdominal examination, there might be a palpable tubal ovarian mass. We should also look out for signs of pelvic inflammatory disease such as lower abdominal tenderness. The symptoms of Severe pelvic inflammatory disease may include lower abdominal pain, dysmenorrhea, where there is painful menstruation, and also low backache. To investigate for gonorrhea, we can do gram stain and culture, where the smear is taken from the urethral or cervical discharge, and the expected finding would be presence of gram-negative diplococci, as seen in the picture I showed just now. Another investigation is gonococcal complement fixation test. But for this test, we have to wait for weeks from the onset of the infection to avoid false negative results. For treatment, main treatment is antibiotics for the bacteria, such as IM penicillin, and if resistant to penicillin, an alternative antibiotics is IM macrolide. If the patient develops further pelvic inflammatory disease, we can give IM benzopenicillin for 3 days, followed by procaine penicillin for 7 days. After the 7 days, we repeat the smear. If there is 3 negative smears at weekly interval, then we will consider it is cured. No sexual intercourse until permanent cure and all the sexual contacts must be treated. If there is patholin abscess, we can give, suggest the patient to go for surgery. That's all for this video, thank you.